Welcome back, everyone. I'm Alyssa Martin. We are live in downtown New Albany. We have moved from outside the little drizzly rain into inside of the beautiful historic Magnolia Theater in the heart of downtown New Albany. Of course, we want to thank them for opening their doors to us, keeping us dry tonight for our edition of Hometown Tour. Joining me now is Ward 4 Alderman, Will Tucker. Thank you so much, Mr. Tucker, for joining us for our Hometown Tour tonight. Sure. Thank you for having me. Uh, thank you all for choosing New Albany to showcase our town. So. A lot of good things coming out of New Albany. Wanted to ask you about something in particular, and a lot of people, you don't really have to be from New Albany or have frequently visited here to know about the parking situation, particularly in downtown. It's kind of an interesting thing, nothing I've seen before, where you can just park right in the middle of the road. Talk with me about that. Sure, yeah, that's been a hot topic here recently, um, which it's always been that way. People that have grown up here are used to it, accustomed to parking in the middle of the street, but it may seem a little different for someone coming out of town. It may seem a little odd, but uh, we're, we're short in, in parking spaces and the people use it, utilize it in and out, easy access, and then uh, delivery trucks also park there in the middle and for them to make deliveries to the, to the merchants downtown. It kind of almost gives like a, a small town feel to be able to just pull in and park as you go shop or eat or dine, visit downtown New Albany. Sure, sure. The convenience and uh, just the nostalgia, it's different. You can go... I've been, you know, a lot of different places. In college, I can remember, uh, people may not remember, if they've ever been to New Albany and driven through downtown, they remember parking in the middle of the street. Uh, they may not remember anything else, but they remember, oh, that's where they park in the middle of the street. But there's always a but or a however. That could be changing, which could be a very big deal for the city of New Albany. You guys recently had a vote on this, overwhelmingly a vote for some change. Although I understand you were the one vote that, was not, a, you know, wanting to move forward on this change. That's correct. Yeah, I believe it was our September regular meeting. It was brought before us by our community development, uh, asked to uh, apply for a grant. It's MDOT TAP grant. It's a transportation alter alternative program. And what this grant would do is it would widen the sidewalks and bring the, the traffic in closer to the center line, which would eliminate parking in the middle of the street, which... Um, a lot of people that live here, me personally, don't want to see that go. We like it, and we don't need to lose any parking spaces downtown, especially we don't want to do anything that could potentially hurt downtown merchants. Uh, cutting off deliveries and losing parking spaces is potentially harm our businesses. We don't need that. Mm -hmm. And how was the reaction that came from the businesses after this? Yeah, the following board meeting, which was our October meeting, Almost all of the downtown merchants came to the board and um, expressed their view that they weren't, ap weren't happy with the decision and don't want to see it go. Um, we want to progress. We want to see uh, maybe some changes, anything to better downtown. But we, lo losing parking spaces is, is, is not the way to go. And they, they were just unhappy and concerned, mainly just concerned about the, the topic of possibly losing those spaces. All right. Definitely a lot to hammer out there and something that we're going to keep up and follow with for you guys. One last thing as we wrap up, we're talking a moment ago off camera. You went to Ole Miss. A I big did. story today is the passing of Coach Mike Leach. This is something that's affecting people nationwide. What would you like to say to his family, friends, and fellow fans? Sure, it's just a sad situation. Just want to keep uh, all of his family and, and everybody in, in prayers. Um, just real, real sad situation, sad time right here, right here at Christmas. So, yeah, we'll definitely keep him in our prayers. Definitely something that's affecting us all um, in one way or another. We want to thank you so much for spending some time with us here in downtown New Albany. We appreciate you for coming out, weathering the drizzly mess we have outside right now. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elizabeth. Speaking of the weather, our chief meteorologist, Matt Lobpon, will join us once again with a complete look at that severe weather authority forecast, including what we can expect when it comes to the chance for that severe weather. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We are continuing on with tonight's edition of our hometown tour. We are live here in downtown New Albany at the beautiful Magnolia Theater. This is such an amazing venue. We're going to go into some of the things they are doing a little bit later on in the broadcast. Right now, though, I want to introduce our next guest. 
It is State Representative Mr. Sam Creekmore. Mr. Creekmore, thank you so much for being here this evening, weathering the nasty rain and joining us tonight. Well, we can blame the rain on Matt. So. Yeah, I mean, Matt's here, so That's right. you know, That's he'll, right. he'll take the blame for that, I'm <laughs> thank sure. Thank you for having me, Elizabeth. Yeah, so just to start out, talk a little bit about, well, you were telling me off camera um, some pretty cool information about y'all's schools. I mean, that's really something to be excited about and brag, not just city schools, we're talking county as well when it comes to them being top rated that's that's correct and and really a, a community is only as good as its public school system and, and we put a lot of emphasis on that here in union county and new albany and and this year both city and county school systems are ranked in the top 10 in the state of mississippi so we're very proud of that and that, that helps build a strong community for sure and that is something that's a huge attraction for people who are looking for somewhere to locate. Of course, they always want their children to be in a strong, solid school district. No doubt about it. And, and along with that, we're, we're building a new career and tech center, too. And that's where both city and county work come together uh, to do this. And that's going to be new. It's a $20 million project. Wow. And the state's helped out, too, on some. But it's, it's going to be a big deal, especially for workforce development going forward. And you mentioned people, you know, the other thing people look at when they're choosing a community is the hospital system. And we have a top 100 hospital in the nation for rural hospitals. So we have a strong hospital, we have a strong schools, and our downtown is bustling full. All, all, all buildings are, are occupied and open with great stores. Awesome. Just very quickly, if you could recommend something to do for people who are coming to New Albany and looking for something fun to get into, what would you say to them? Well, we just about have everything for you. We got the Tanglefoot Trail. We have a great park system, and they're just about all connected. We're working toward that. Uh, bikes are a big deal. Restaurants are great, um, and so you, you can just about from Frisbee golf to to this theater, uh, a lot of cultural things, and a state of the art Union County Heritage Museum. It is, and not only that, can you visit the museum, but you can actually spend the night at the Faulkner Inn next door. Very cool. So a lot of neat things to do here. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. We appreciate your time and sharing a little bit about New Albany Thank with you. us.